last time we looked at the Marysville Dock. A major push to complete the asphalt paving of the dock was underway. And a concrete pour to complete the pathway around the passenger building was awaited. There were still some sections of railing to be installed. But the big push was clearly on the paving work. The results were clear for everyone to see a few days later. And there was evidence too of work beginning on something in the southeast corner of the dock beside the road. Coming forward a month, the concrete had been laid, the railings installed, and there was clear evidence of what was happening in the southeast corner. The appearance of some large electrical cabinets stimulated interest, and so too did the appearance of tubing associated with a bubbler system. The installation of some very impressive ductwork associated with the air handling systems at the utility building was also noticed. The presence of a crane behind the ramp confirmed that there is still much work to be done at that location. The impression remains though, overall, of a site that is quickly approaching completion of its tasks. This is particularly true around the two buildings on the site. The work being conducted in the southeast corner may well be the last real construction effort involved. The engineering challenge of completing the ramp, of course, remains to be addressed. It's also noticeable that although the charging arm has been in place for some time, there's no evidence as the Wolf Islander departs the dock of the vacuum mooring system, installation of which must be anticipated. But there appears to be no delay at all in the construction of what would seem to be a wall in that southeast corner. We'll close watching the Wolf Islander 4 powering her way out into the lake. Please consider subscribing if you want to keep up to date.